Now, I'm curious, was there a time where you thought that you could potentially create, a, go long term with a military career, but paths changed? I, I thought about that uh, when I was, when, when, I, when I first got into the Marine Corps, um, there is a level of, of motivation that's just unsurpassed. But then over time, you start, uh, that, it's kind of like the honeymoon phase. And then after a while, I started realizing, okay, can I see myself in this type of structure for the next 20 or 25 years? The reason that I feel that things started to change while I was serving is that I've started seeing also more opportunities where I could be in that I felt would be more beneficial for me and, and, and being to excel. Like for your personal as a career, goals and my personal personality. Goals, right? For example, I'm just saying is that no person ever gets into the military and says, I want to be in the military because I want to become a millionaire. That's not really how it works. Nobody, comes, nobody becomes a millionaire serving our country. Although it's it's a it's a it's a it's an amazing amount of value and valor for that and having in that having that that position in, in serving our country, but in terms of having fiscal goals, eventually most mil if anything I've met some millionaires who were previously military, but they realized too it's so in order for me to be get what I want to go to, it's not going to happen here. God bless this, but I can't. So tell tell the the it takes a t probably a tremendous amount of pressure to drive to a fiscal goal like that why go through all that effort because the end result is so worth it uh, i mean about if, if people were to say right now that the epidemic in this country is obesity we'll say for example which which which, which it is which it is obesity uh, unhealthy eating habits that's a very big problem because it leads to so many other issues and and we know that yeah, right of course. but i feel that um, re retirement and being physically responsible, thinking ahead about your future in terms of finances, that's an upcoming epidemic too. Because they, people just keep ignoring the pain of saving. Because as we've heard before, there's two types of pain, right? There's, a, there's a, the pain of discipline, mm. which, weighs, which weighs ounces, or there's a the pain of regret that weighs tons. And so sometimes people are just willing to deal with the pain of discipline because they're going to push off. What, the what, now, what, why, you know, if someone that hasn't understood, heard that quote, why would the discipline weigh less than the regret? Because the regret is once you get to a certain point in your life where you said, okay, I'm looking to move on to a, a, a point in my life where I'm not working anymore f for money. I'm actually going to be living my years and maybe following a certain cause. Yeah. That's what retirement really is. You don't just stop, hang out in your tea, hang out in your living room and watch family feud all day. That's not how it works. You're going to be doing things. You're going to be going out and maybe doing missionary work or volunteering for a nonprofit. All, all the thing that happens at that point is your mission changes, mm -hmm. right? But in order for in order for you to have altruism, you need to have capitalism too. So if you really have, want to have that vision of having a, another life after you, you've, you've handed in your key card or handed in your badge and gun because your job is over, yeah. then you be, be about to have the finances to be able to support that lifestyle. So the regret's going to be if you don't have the finances to support that lifestyle, unfortunately, you cannot turn back the clock. The it's clock like time now. Is time, is, time, is, uh, time is a liar. Time is a liar. Time is, the, time is the biggest seducer whispering saying, I'm on your side. It's really <laughs> not. It's constantly moving forward whether you like it or not. So you need to keep up with it. That's why carrying the discipline of being somewhat of a strat strategical saver mm. today over time, using compounding, you'll, you'll benefit from those rewards. Well, as I've, we've seen tremendous compound interest in just interviewing and collaborating and sure. turning out. It's just people start taking notice to things. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty, pretty powerful.